Fox News found a good thing. They, they can make fun of liberals, and they are doing it to great success. We will discuss why in a minute, but in the meantime, I just want to tell you, Fox News smells a good thing. So they are coming up with... They have greenlit a whole new slate of conservative television shows. Would you like to see some of the things they have coming on? Um, I know you would. Uh, like, a third rock from the sun, according to science. Is uh, one of their new ones. Comedians in cars getting jerky is going to be. Uh, I love Ducey. <laughs> Myth trusters. <laughs> How I met your handmaid. Uh, <laughs> Mad about Jews with Steve Bannon. Cue's the boss. <laughs> I dream of gerrymandering. <laughs> Curb your environmentalism. <laughs> and this is Gus. <laughs> uh. So... Okay. Uh. So, now you're gonna like this part. I've been asked over the years many times, why isn't there a conservative comedy? And I always would give the answer, which I think was the true answer, there's, there's not good fodder for it. You know, the liberals aren't crazy. This was my answer for many years. I, I cited Dennis Miller, who is a great comedian, yeah, period. As a comedian, he's great. But when he became a conservative, he was tasked with, like, doing 10 minutes on Nancy Pelosi She's in the same way we would talk about Sarah Palin. But Nancy Pelosi isn't funny like that, because she's not crazy or stupid. Sarah Palin is a moron. It's easy to... <laughs> she is, and it's easy to make fun of her. Really. It's easy to make fun of Wasilla Living, meth lab, whatever, Sarah Palin. Now, I'm not saying she works in a meth lab, but I'm sure we did some jokes about that. Um, well, the family... It, so there was just this... There was nothing to make fun of. That was that crazy. Now, I don't think it's the same situation. I keep saying to the liberals, you know what? If what you're doing sounds like an onion headline, <laughs> stop. <laughs> and that's why... No. This is why there is an opening for conservative comedy. Because, you know, when you, when you tear down statues of Abraham Lincoln, in the land of Lincoln, land of Lincoln cancels Lincoln. It's an onion headline. You know, three-year-olds pick their own gender is an onion headline. You know, a lot of this stuff that goes on on the left now, it's, you know, Seattle votes to decriminalize crime. <laughs> now, the problem is that they don't know how to do comedy. But if they found someone who did, they could because I do it more here than I used to, because comedy goes where the funny is. Mm -hmm. And there is funny on the left now, as well as the right.